take on to the wrong hotel. Uh, we're actually checking into the right hotel now. Um, so we're going to head out, get some curry first, and drink German beer. Yo! about Berlin, you can buy a beer anywhere, and on the street, just have a beer. Happy days. And we came across this big cycling event and guess what? They've got beer! Yo! You might be noticing a bit of a trend here. <laughs> Literally the only touristy thing that we've yeah. got booked for the whole trip is the Reichstag, which we're about to do now. So, yeah. Reichstag, really impressed by it. Really, really cool. If you're coming to Berlin, I highly recommend checking this out. Uh, it's free. You just need to book it well in advance because it does book up really easy. Uh, only criticism would be there's no bar. There's nowhere you can get a beer. I mean, it's not really that sort of place, but you know, you want to get a beer, don't you? Uh, so we're going to shoot on quick and find somewhere to get a beer. See you soon. Bye. Berlin just to drink with more Hylians from Belfast. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> So we're cutting across Museum Island, which is a big island in Berlin with loads and loads of museums. I'll get some footage and show some of those. Uh, but we're not actually going to any museums today because the Sesh Grimmels would not approve whatsoever. We're going to go get drunk instead. We're not doing any museums today, but if you were coming to Berlin, I would recommend you go to the Berliner Dome. You've got really cool views up at the top of around Berlin, and underneath there's a crypt full of loads of coffins, and it's like really quite cool. 
it's a bit weird, a bit sad, but I would highly recommend it. And this is where we're headed, the pub. <laughs> Except it's not open. Duh. Uno, cheers. Belter Weller, happy dance. Uh, we completely forgot the red finger to remember it tonight, so we are off to the Lido. And then we're then zero five. Cool. So the, the gig's not for a wee bit, um, so we decided to pop into Cassiopeia, which is really close. Uh, if you're ever in Berlin, you have to come to Cassiopeia. Uh, there's no gig on tonight here, um, so it's pretty quiet. I mean, it's Monday evening, so it's going to be quiet, but there's like wall climbing going on. And there's loads of people just chilling out, having there's beers. There's a skate park about the place as well, and different restaurants, vegan stuff, graffiti. Class place. Gotta come here. Right? Just had a big feed, uh, a load of beers, and now we're going to go see Red Fang in Lido. So straight out of the gig, uh, Red Fang were fucking brilliant. The uh, security took my camera off me, my GoPro off me, so there's no footage from in there except for maybe like a wee bit of uh, iPhone footage. Uh, apart from that, brilliant fucking gig, really, really good. Sport bands were okay. The venue was fucking hot, fucking hot, like fucking melting. But uh, cold beers, just getting on with it. It was a good show, good show. Uh, we're gonna go for another couple of beers and we'll probably call it a night. And happy days. See you tomorrow. Yeah, what the hoods. definition of dangerous drinking. We're in a restaurant where every single table has uh, have bar tops, so you just serve yourself. So if we can't get home tonight because we're just totally beaming. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, fuck that up.
it's hot and it's heavy but we're almost at the train station where we can get more beer so all will be good we are on our way to the food forest system So after two trains and well, shuttle a shuttle bus uh, and then putting up our big massive fucking tent uh, we're finally here and we're ready to go and get a load of beers and start enjoying the Full Force Festival Yeah! First beers of the festivals, the hoots are officially up Yeah. You know the shitty wee gazebos everyone brings to download? This is what the Germans bring That is genuinely the most metal as fuck background for a heavy metal festival, is it not? None of those stages are open yet. The only thing that worries me is the uh, the hardball stage. That's where all the hardcore bands are playing. It's on like solid concrete, so if you go down, you're getting fucked up. <laughs> First, first day of bands today, and it is 33 degrees. It is absolutely scorching. One, two. Uh, and the first band, they're going to be an absolute dog shake. But it's good bands after that. Yep. <laughs> Set. Well, quite actually, just before they were finishing, uh, there was an announcement made and everyone started evacuating the arena. And with everything going on in the world at the minute, it was a wee bit scary, but it turned out it was just because of, well, I'll say just, just because, it was because of severe weather. There was a massive storm coming in. Uh, so everyone had to go back to their tents. Most people went back to their cars because most people here have a car. Uh, so we went back to their tents, got drenched on the way back. Hailstones, the it, size of your thumb. My thumb. Nasty, nasty hailstones. 
lay in the tent for a bit. The wind kicked up so hard it felt like the place was gonna fucking blow away. Thankfully it didn't. And then about half seven there was a notice on Facebook saying that the arena's back open so we're, we're heading back in. I'm starving <laughs> and sober. This is just not how festivals are. <laughs> So after last night, uh, we got back into the festival after all the storm. Uh, we seen these nuts, then it looked like Airborne were setting up on one stage while Toxpack were setting up on another. Uh, it looked like Toxpacks were ready to go on, and then they didn't. There was an announcement, another announcement that went on for a good five minutes. And everyone left, so that was it, we're kicked out again, no more bands. We did ask a few people to explain this, it just meant right, no more bands. Go back to your tent. Storms uh, came back, more thunder, lightning, rain. So we just went back, um, had a few beers, got fed, went to bed. So today's day two of the festival and hopefully today will be a wee bit better. Uh, bands wise today, I'm looking forward to spasm because Grand Core just makes me laugh my balls off. Uh, and then nasty later on because they're just fucking pure attitude hardcore. Uh, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to seeing the Reller Track again because it's been a while and I quite like them. And I'm probably going to get quite drunk and then go see Dropkick Murphys just to sing a lot of cheesy songs. Yeah. Happy days. So, we're finished to come. You. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
just going to be like a big long video of us being hammered, right? And that's all you wanted. You've got to the right part of the video. This is the bit where we're just fucking hammered. Because we're fucking hammered. I really, really wish I had footage of Nasty, but I don't because I just fucking pitted like fuck. Swinging digs all over the fucking place. It was absolute chaos. If you haven't seen Nasty, go see Nasty. They're one of the best hardcore bands on the fucking planet. Like Nasty, Malevolence. What else do you want? Get in there. Too much last night, uh, things are a little bit messy. Yeah, we got wrecked, proper wrecked. Lost Claire, couldn't find her. She was back in the camp, didn't tell me. Women. Uh, but it's the last day of the festival, there's some cracking bands playing today. Uh, we're gonna go see Broken Teeth, so see ya. So it is the final day of the festival today. It's hot as hell, but we've made it in. So today is all about. Broken teeth. Where's the 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 Where's the
the wee tip. See if you're offended by the sight of men's genitalia. Might not want to come to any German festivals. There's a lot of cock out. Like a lot. Like. Everywhere you look, there seems to be a tech out. I don't know why. Maybe it's just. Culture, I guess. German culture to get your tech out. I don't know. Seventeen, done and dusted. All the bands have played. All the beers have been drunk. With full force is over. I think we're not too bad, all things considered. Um, but we've just checked. Check, check. <laughs> Festival done, and we're in a. <laughs> I keep trying to make videos, and I can't talk, so I'm just going to show you the hotel room. It's 
pretty damn swanky for the likes of us. Uh, we're gonna get shard and Stay in Berlin. Uh, we've come to Berlin Summer Book Fest, which is basically a big German from their land, except we've got loads and loads of beer. And we're meeting up with a couple of other Hellions from Belfast today, so aye, that's 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 what it is. That's what it is, aye. So just met up with Andy and Kathy and um, get the beers in. Cheers. And uh, we'll make a round and do a few wee raids. <laughs> Considering how strong it is, it's lethal. That's not bad. So this is Sniper Klo in Germany. It's a toilet themed bar where everything's completely wacky as fuck. You get the beers in the pish bottles, essentially. Um, pish bottles, going to get pissed in a drinking out of a pish Seats bottle. bounce up and down, you get pissed on on the way in. Cheers. Fancy. Fancy. So we've decided we're going to catch like one more beer before the end one of the night, beer. but we're ended up in some stupid fucking really posh part of town. There's Giorgio Romano shots, there's Dulce Gabbana, there's Chanel. I'm buying something in every one of them, so it's Except all good. Like, it's not really. I am. Um, I, need, I, need, I need me a new handbag. I need look, new glasses check, check this shit out. What do you say? It's box. Big fancy buggies. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> so we're gonna go find a normal bar up ahead. Yeah. Right in the middle of the street here, there is 245 <laughs> euro trainers. Yep. Right. Only and 245. These and ones are 312. 312. 300 euro sunglasses. And they're just in a glass box in the middle of the street. Can you imagine that in Belfast? The box would be gone. The goddies would be land here. <laughs> Oh no, they're coming to be old. Here, look at, look at my knees. Alright.